everyone, it's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise and I actually just went through this room and <laughs> made like a 15 minute video. My camera battery died and then when I went to put in the new battery, it told me that there was an error saving my last video. So I'm recording this for a second time here. I have been working on this room over the course of this last week and this is all I've done scrapbooking related. I am working on getting my room really organized and getting rid of stuff. So I ended up reorganizing some things. I was able to pull out some bins. I'm trying to get the closet a little bit cleaner, which I'm not gonna show you yet because it's a disaster zone. I ended up getting rid of the big washi thing, those containers. Um, this whole stack here, I have one scrapbook buddy. I'm gonna let her look through all of this and she can pull out what she wants. I still want to look through those and see if I wanna keep any of the cards, but I haven't been using the journaling cards hardly at all, so I'm not gonna keep a bunch of these. Like these containers are pretty much full. I'm just gonna keep a little stack of those, and then she can go through what she wants, and I will give away or donate the rest of the stuff. And so walking through, I wanted to walk you through the drawers. I wanted to show you guys how it's set up. The drawer units are the same. I've changed a few of the labels, possibly since my last time filming this. So I've got labels here, and this one, I actually found these that go on those file folders, and I kept them because they're cute and pastel. I thought they'd be great for little journaling spots. And then I also got Recent L Studio, Enamel Dots, Hearts, Dogs, Food, Current Freckled Fawn, Recent Freckled Fawn, and I can combine all of that to just be Freckled Fawn, and then two empty ones that I can use for whatever. This stack is actually for Olivia. She's been asking for more pencils because she likes to use the eraser. And so I found these in my drawer and she'll love that. And also stickers are always a big hit with her. And then this is a stack of stuff that's just gonna go in the recycle bin. I got some containers down from up here and put them over here. I thought when I start purchasing newer things again, I can put them in there. Or if I have loose pieces of something I'm working on, they can go in the various containers. Right now I just have so my newer stuff in here that needs to get used up. So I just have it kind of within reach since I scrapbook right here. And then I try to keep my most used items in here and then on top here so they're within easy reach. Mostly my plan is this side is scrapbooking, this side is planner related and off season stuff that I only need at certain times. So I will walk through all of the drawers for you guys. Starting up here at the top, I keep essentials in here. It's kind of a a randomness drawer. I've got my stamp cleaner, my corner chomper, my labeler, acrylic blocks, the stamp that goes on the back of my cards when I make cards. I haven't gotten back into card making, but that's something I would really like to do. I've just got to get a little more organized to do that. And then down here, I've got alphabet sets. I do store some of my alphabet sets in these little iris containers when they're loose like that. And then I've got a bunch of the sheets here. So I ended up moving a bunch of these into the drawer from this alphas thing. I still have some thickers in there, but I ended up trying to get rid of quite a few sets of the thickers because I just don't use them all the time. And so I put just like the flatter ones in here and then the thickers are still in that container. But I need to go through these and organize them and put the ones that really need to be just used up or gotten rid of um, at the top or in a different stack. So I know to use them up like this this one's running low on the essential letters like the E's and the R's and the S's and T's, things that you know you use a lot. So I will put this one aside when I go through these and pull out the ones that really just need to be used up and then tossed. And then down here, I thought I would make this my card making drawer because I have my six by six paper pads in here and those are more for card making. So I thought I would move my stamps or something in there. I've got all of my card making related stamps in here. You can see back there. And then, you know, the loose ones in the drawer here. I've got various ones for coloring. I've got a few Copics in here and then I have a case of Copics in the closet. I thought I would make this my card making drawer here. And then down here, I've shown this kind of organization before where I have things in these iris containers. I've got loose embellishments of all kinds in here that are themed. So I've got all the similar products together. And then I also have some like this where it's just a set of loose die cuts. And then I have the little tag and I mark them off as I use them. So I can just look at the tag, decide what I want to use and then look through and pull out what I want. 
I do that sometimes with collections. So I'll walk you through my categories down here. I've got just a die cut set, arrows, accents, animals, summer, home, another die cut set, Valentine's Day, florals, words, cameras, reading since Olivia likes reading. I have a lot of book related photos of her, so I keep those things separate, stars, and also sequins. And so back here, I ended up putting my washi tape. I went through the whole thing of washi tape and found just the ones I really, really like and took out one of these drawers. I thought I might take out another one of the drawers and so I can have two sets of washi tape stacked up in there. I also have this little Dollar Tree container in here for randomness. I haven't decided yet. And then over here, I've got my Project Life themed stamps. I'm gonna adjust here. <laughs> I've got my Project Life themed scrapbooky type stamps here. So I've got a lot of alphabet sets, things like labels, random little things that work really well for scrapbooking. I've got numbers and let's see. I have some label sets in here. There we go. Some ones with labels and lines that are great for scrapbooking. And then some in these kind of containers as well. I also have some Felicity Jane ones back here and ones that are in pockets. Like that one's reading related. So I can scrapbook with that one. It's actually also a planner related stamp, but they are a little bit too high to go in the drawer when they're in these bigger pockets. So I have those just set over here along with this pack that I need to look at and decide if I'm gonna keep or get rid of these ones as well. I think they're really cute, but I'm not sure how much of this I will actually use. So I've gotta look through it and make decisions on that. And then in here, I've got some of the um, ink things for the Tim Holtz thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's for inking. And they also have some ink daubers in that little mason jar. And so I got rid of the big thing of washi tape. It was packed full of washi. I'll show you guys. I've got my washi tape over here and I'm gonna put these into different little assortments and I'll do giveaways with that coming up soon. And then walking to this side, I was able to get rid of some containers off of shelves and off of the closet and there are a few of them right there. And so on this side, I've got more planner related stuff. I do love planner decorating and planner accessories. So I've got some randomness in here, some clips, a couple of pens, some of the inks that I use specifically for planners. And then I've got a card in here that I can use. I meant to use that for Father's Day and then I ended up making Johnny a quick card. Totally forgot about this, so I might use it for his birthday. And then a lot of planner stickers in here from various things, things I've made myself, some things from old planners. I just ripped out the stickers. And then also planner related stamps. So those reading stamps could actually be over here too. I might split that set up because some of it is more scrapbook project life related and some of it would be great in planner decorating. And then back here I just have all sorts of little sticky notes. And continuing on with planner related stuff down here, I've got all the Erin Condren dashboards and various company covers. I've got one from the Michaels planner from last year, some Lime Life planner covers in here as well. Let's see, that's a Lime Life, Erin Condren. There's all sorts of ones in the stack. I also have some of those thinner dashboards and also a pocket that came with my last planner, which was also an Erin Condren planner. And to then to write on all of those, I have some wet erase markers. These are just those ones that teachers used to use on the transparency overhead things. And some extra pens back here, some pen refills for some of my favorite pens, and then a punch for my ring bound system. And then down here is kind of randomness. It's more refills and stuff that I don't use very often. So I've got reinkers in here that also has some Copic refills in it. Back there, I just labeled it re-inkers. And I also have some watercolor paper in there that I hardly ever use. And then some little masks to go with sprays, which are all in here. So this is all my like wet stuff. Wet glitter, also my loose glitter. All sorts of ink, painty type of things are in there. This is all adhesive type refills or blade refills, staple refills, and also my embossing gun. So that is just kind of a drawer that doesn't get used all that often. And then down here is my 
off season. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm shaking the camera so much. I hope it's not too shaky for you guys. So down here, I've got all of my fall and winter holiday stuff. So I've got winter themed stuff, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall, it's all in here. So this is stuff that I don't reach for very often, but when I do, I want all of it together. So I really need to make it a little more organized to where it's not just in a pile. So I've also got Christmas pictures in here that I could scrapbook when I'm feeling Christmassy. So it's a mixture between fall and Christmas themed stuff. So I pulled out, you know, alphabets that are more fall themed or more Christmas themed in there. I need to make like a stack that's just Christmas and a stack that's just the fall holidays. I do have most of my Christmas related stuff in this pouch as far as like the smaller embellishments. And I also have all my Christmas washi. I went ahead and kept pretty much all of my Christmas washi because I use it also for wrapping presents. I think it's really cute on the presents. And it's also really fun to use in planner decorating as well. And I also have a few Halloween themed washies that I have in here with some random stuff that needs to still be organized. Like those are Christmas themed and some journaling cards in there with some ribbon. I think all of these are fall themed. So I've got different die cut sets, also one for just Halloween and one just for fall. And so I don't reach for this stuff very often, but it's all right there. And then down here, I've got a couple of random things, lots of pictures. I tried to label them for the most part. They're labeled on their flap thing. I also have some thank you cards and envelopes for whenever, a random birthday card. I should put this other card down here as well. And I also have my ring bound planners, also with some planner inserts down here. And so that's pretty much it for the drawers. I'm still working on continuing to organize within the drawers. I have got these containers to get rid of. I'll see if my friend wants those pink ones as well. I just really like how it's coming together now. I think it looks really nice with everything. And I'm still going to, you know, look through all these stamps. I'm just really trying to use up what I've gotten. Part of that is being able to know where it is and be able to find it. <laughs> so I'm working on the organization part of that right now. I don't have any scrapbooking done, but I've definitely made a lot of progress in this room getting things organized and I really like how it's turning out. I hope you guys are well. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're excited about weekly videos and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.